Hey everybody, welcome back to Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. I hope we're having a sweet day today. Today, I want to focus a little bit on Cernikova. Yeah. Because Cernikova has actually got some progress done with it. See there's many buildings back there. Looking pretty good. Got the shop done. The fire department uh, is done. The little tiny fire department is done. Got the schools. Uh, well, okay, the kindergarten's done. I don't know, like, all the schools, but the kindergarten's done. And they have now begun the construction on the medical university, which is pretty exciting. We're not quite ready to bring people over there yet, of course, but there's a lot of stuff happening. And you might notice there's a second helicopter bringing materials, too. And that's because I decided to just take my licks, if you will, and, uh, I paid the half a million rubles for another one of these cargo helicopters. So, we're down to 566,000 now, after all that investment. I've decided to buy a brand new one because if I take a look over at the used one, I'm, I'm starting to think this used helicopter maybe is not the best deal. At least not the deal that I thought it was going to be. So, this thing, because it's 10 years old, right? The, the older the helicopters are, the faster they age, uh, the faster they wear and tear, and the less repairs you can do to them. And I think 68% wear and tear is the bottom. Because... These guys say there's nothing to repair now. So, maybe I bought a helicopter that's a little too old. But we're going to get as much use out of it as we can at 68%. We're going to get as much as we can out of it. Uh, so, in order to get as much as we can out of it, we need to assign it to the helicopter construction office. And that actually can't happen now because we have two helicopters. It can't happen because there's no helipads for it to park at. So, we need this done for the fairly high priority in order to uh, to get that going. Uh, I'm also working on, <laughs> very slowly, my god, they're not even done with this. I didn't even start this road yet, it looks like. Um, try to work on getting the helicopters hooked up to bricks too, because I think that'll be really good. Uh, but they can grab concrete, and they can grab prefab, prefab, sorry, prefab panels, wow. Um, they can do that, and so that they will. Um, but, you know, eventually, I think that helicopter is gonna end up getting scrapped. Which maybe it'll be worth it. I mean, we'd only paid 68,000 rubles for it. Probably got quite a bit of aluminum and steel and mechanical components, electrical components, all that stuff. It might end up paying for itself eventually. We get like a good couple years of usage out of it and scrap it. And it ends up being an okay deal, I think. But uh, yeah. All right. So I've got, uh, looks like six different living places here. We're up over 10,000 population. And we're still just hovering at 1% unemployment. So... Like, I'm still short on workers, so I've just got to keep pumping them out. Uh, get, as many, get as many workers in here as I can. There's still some vacancies in houses and stuff. Uh, they're still not completely full here. And for the most part, everybody's fairly content. We're looking at 89% health. It was 90 for a little bit there. Uh, and then 65% government loyalty. That's pretty much the ceiling, right? We need to get a television station and stuff going. Uh, and religion sympathy is only at 1%. No big deal. Pretty much every citizen has a radio. And so pretty much every citizen is able to listen to this. And that makes us very effective at g getting up government loyalty, reducing uh, religious sympathy, maybe even reducing alcoholism. So we can maybe hit that a little bit. And uh, if we hit both of these, I'm wondering if we can... Can I hit? Can I hit? Yeah, like that. I want to take down alcohol dependency and religious sympathy at the same time and um, these two things tend to affect each other so i'm just gonna hit them both a little bit and uh that should be good so that's a good balance i'm all right with that uh and then you know again 95 percent I'm, I'm making sure that people who are at 65 percent government loyalty are the people who are in here so if you are working here you have at least 65 percent i could maybe raise this to 70 percent, but we're getting close to the point where we're capping out so i'm gonna leave it at 65 just to make sure there are listeners um, likewise, over here in the prison, we have the government loyalty requirements at 52. I'm going to raise that to 57. And if we can get people to be really loyal, if we can get the, the warders to be really loyal in here, then we can start positively impacting the loyalty of our prisoners as well. And you can see most of our prisoners here, most, not, not all, but most of our prisoners have well over half loyalty. Some of them are as high as 70%. So that's pretty good. Uh, and so if we can positively influence their loyalty while they're in prison, that's what we're looking for. Not just taking down uh, the criminality. So if I just pump this up a little bit more, you know, really gr drive in the propaganda. We, we lose a little bit of the enjoyment factor, but they can get that when they get out of prison. So 
that'll offset but as long as i can raise their loyalty while they're in prison that'll be a good thing the other thing i wanted to do today is um this is really to grow population so i'm a little hesitant on that i don't have a whole lot of housing but we will need to grow population in order to have people move over to cernakova i don't want to have to bring in immigrants to move over here right i want people to just be here i will have to invite some immigrants here it's kind of unavoidable because you need to have the minimum number of jobs uh, filled in order for people to survive over here. So I have to have people working in water, for example. I have to have people working in the foods and, uh, and you get clothing and food for the population and things like that. Speaking of food and stuff for the population, this area over here is going to need some sort of area to receive goods so that it can be delivered here on a regular basis. We don't necessarily by necessarily i mean i don't i don't want to have everything here delivered exclusively by truck it's kind of far away from where we store things and we store things way over here right so they have to drive their truck all the way over here to deliver it to the store it's a little far away and i think we could probably do this more effectively if we utilize the rail there is a rail coming right through here right it's already built so i think we leverage this rail to uh, deliver goods into a giant uh, warehouse kind of set up right over here. And then that is going to allow us to have trucks just basically moving goods in like so, okay? So we don't want to get in the way of the aggregate unloader and the aggregate loader and things, uh, but those are already set up with stuff happening that direction. So I think we're actually fine. So if I go over to the storage and I want to get, you know, like I don't need a big warehouse. I think maybe just this little one here would be okay it's not gonna get us the meat but the meat's coming from the border anyway important note so technically the meat has a shorter route to get here than it does to get over there uh likewise meat will eventually be generated here so we don't need meat brought over here with the train so uh we can just deal with a, a warehouse for now i think it's this is good all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a warehouse put in i think right about here should be okay right about there should be fine uh, and then what we'll do is we're going to have a rail and it needs to branch off. Okay. So we're going to have a couple of different uh, tracks coming through here. There's a track coming this way that, and then it has to get back on this track. Uh, but we also want another one that bypasses it. So how we want to play this, I think, is to have an, an intersection come out right about like this. I don't think this is too, it might be, that might be too close. Let's, uh back that up a little bit we're gonna have to do some measurements really quick here to see if it's maybe better to put it over here just to keep it farther away from this area i don't necessarily need signaling here everything is all one way anyway so or at least it's going to be one way are they done making these tracks yet yeah these are all done okay so i don't need temporary signaling here i can do this kind of do this how it's supposed to be so i could go like that so this is supposed to be heading in this direction. This is supposed to be heading in this direction as well. There we go. It's a one-way track. That's a one-way track going that way. And then you are going that way. And then these two tracks go like that, right? And I could just maybe pop chains here. That's fine. Uh, going through here. These are two clears. Okay. Uh, this track is coming in from this direction like that. So you're like that you are like that and you are like that okay you're a chain setting up into the intersection and then as you come over this way we'll have this be there and you be there so all these tracks now have the proper directionality if that's so if i may use the word directionality in them so we have two tracks going this direction one track coming back in this direction so what we're going to want for this is on this little bypass track here, we can split you off again. And I think that's probably an okay thing to do. We'll split this off one more time. It's all one way anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And you go out a little wider. Okay. And then we'll have you come in right about there. Good with that. All right. And then on this side, you'll come out this way. All right. And you'll meet up right in like that. All right, and that way we'll have signaling happening right here. Uh, and then on this side, we're gonna want to bring you up and over. And this is just another one of those bypass routes, which I'm not sure I need to put in. I'm, I'm still debating on this because we have this one, but this one goes through the stations, right? I needed a way for this. So this is gonna be a comment that I would have or whatever, where it's like, see, you should have had 
you know a track that goes around these stopping points yes i know so that's what this is supposed to be uh is is that track that goes around this so i'm thinking we just do it kind of like this you can bring it right through here it hooks up to this it comes across like that and then it needs to come all the way over like so and i can maybe do it like a pretty hard cut here i think but the long the longer i stretch this out the the more parts of the track it occupies so i think i'll just do that for now now what we get from this is of course a big intersection so we have to uh, signal this again so i think instead of this signaling being like this what we'll do is we'll change this to be a uh signal here we'll move it up a little bit right we'll go like that and then on this side will go like that and this side will go uh not chain not chain we'll go like this well yeah i mean it's okay to have two chain signals back to back it's the only important thing is that it's referencing the other side so yeah i guess that's fine so two chains right there uh and then of course the track builders can actually build this with the proper signaling in place now they can do that because uh, at least on this side because they can come around from this direction to to make them uh but just to create you know just to prevent any conflicts from taking place here i think because i don't want to deal with conflicts at the moment we're just going to go like that with it and then on this side they can do the same thing they'll have a chain signal that stops i think i want to actually have that stop here so it doesn't block the road uh we'll have the clear be over here just after the road it's probably good uh, and then over here we need we need this to happen too so you're gonna go like that and like that it, i don't think this is necessary okay because it's all one direction there's no conflicts anywhere here anyway but to prevent trains stopping in this little junction area we're gonna take that away and this is gonna be the intersection now so these are the two clears and these are the two chains for those clears uh, and then everything just kind of flows from there and then we have one more set of clear uh should be here should be fine there and then there's a chain that has to be here which can stop so we can get rid of these two signals those aren't necessary anymore and then uh over here on this side we'll have the clear to say hey it's all good you can continue uh and then we don't really need a chain here but i'll, I'll just do it whatever is going to prevent conflicts later so that'll set up this now it looks like a little purple area here and that's just because this intersection is right next to this intersection as long as you understand why it's purple and you're okay with it it should be fine actually i think i can, can have this be clear there yeah comes all the way through uh and then you are going to get cleared from there once it leaves so we need you to chain there all right so that's that's fine for now that's good that's going to help us with this so the uh the distribution office now is going to be able to enter into this area from this side and uh drop off stuff and then they leave going back that way to get back home the real simple process and they'll deliver basically the goods that this requires will get delivered here as well as any other types of essentials we may want over here i mean maybe we decide to have a different industry over here maybe in this area and in that case we might be able to deliver things here or or maybe we get full on you know mechanical components or something over here i don't know how why that would happen but maybe we do and uh we need some overflow so we have a train that just takes things from here and brings it over here and oh man i mean that's a thing and then we can then export from here we could say okay take it from here and export out um speaking of which they won't be able to do that easily because this train does not flow that direction so probably just to create some flexibility here i could probably say uh you know again this is going away eventually so this we're going to ignore this track entirely when we're creating our system this track is getting completely ignored it doesn't exist um so we have this intersection and we have uh this track which could then flow this way i know it's a really sharp turn uh i'm aware of that but it, it makes it to where one i'm following the rules of the game and two it creates this in this junction here is now part of the same intersection um so i can dig that too we can we can make that happen too and um these would be the chains that would enter into this so everybody's waiting here to get over there and so they're not blocking the road uh so the, so the clears are already set up the chains are already set up everything is already set up aside from this which would need to be changed so i would need to go like that and then everything else is is fine from that point uh, because of these two junctions 
okay so we'll just go mix signals here just so that we don't have conflicts with the track builders yeah track builders are going to need track builders are going to need some help there so let's just do that really quick they already have that and then uh we'll go ahead and say like that for the builders okay good so like i said i wanted to focus on cernakova today which there isn't really much for me to do to focus on it it's mostly just the builders construction offices that kind of stuff needs to be done but we could start sending food clothes electronics meat etc over here we could uh, all we have to do is basically click this button there are some extra trucks just sort of sitting over here not doing much uh and that's great so in the west warehouse nope this one we're running a little low on food and it's not because of lack of production it's because i keep shipping it over the border i, I keep i keep selling it so like we got a bunch of food here 82 tons of food on that train so if i just stop loading food here basically uh we should be able to have a little bit of clothing but i just have to stop loading so much of it i don't want to stop loading it completely but just stop loading so much of it so why don't we say you do 15 percent now uh, and you continue to grab steel which i'm not sure is needed we're running a little lower on cash now we have tons of steel so you do not need to load steel <laughs> anymore we have a lot of steel we're good for a long time thanks <laughs> no need to have any more steel uh okay so this is all paved which is looking pretty good in order to pave this we kind of need to block entirely uh the construction office and you know that's always going to be something that's just going to temporarily going to happen for a bit i'm going to try to make this as quickly as, as quick as possible by disconnecting this making this all one project and then assigning these guys directly to it uh and then actually you two to assign you guys both directly to it with a high priority and uh maybe they'll get on that I think we have too many bulldozers here too I'm not sure that that many is necessary to have uh i might move one of these bulldozers over here just so i might be able to do some terrain work uh which i can't really do because there's no construction offices uh you'll see that I've, I've lined the crops with trees i think it looks pretty dang cool it's not done yet i am i'm missing this because this is really close so i don't think i can actually get a whole lot of trees in here but i've been looking at it uh, so the poplars these really thin tall ones they're going between the fields like this all right and then uh and then the the big uh is it birch what is it beach beach trees are going uh you know kind of well these are poplars yeah but beach trees are going uh through down here and it's basically this whole, the, the idea is the train goes between the trees all right the, the the train is going to go right through this wall of trees and uh you know Maybe have less effect on the crops as it passes by or something. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, this road is nearly completed. That's almost done. The bulldozer there. There's also bulldozers on this one. As that is nearly done. So if you're looking for a progress report on the crops, there you go. It is April. We are farming over there currently, but uh, we're not going to farm over here until uh, these buildings are done. And so the buildings, uh, we actually don't have a farm queued over here any, uh, yet. There's no farm queued up yet. Oh, there's my stuff right there. Okay. Well, I don't need to move those bulldozers then. Uh, and then I want this to be right, an actual asphalt road. So that's taking a while too. I do have helicopters being told to come over here and work on this, but since there's only two helicopters, they're not really, they're not really doing that. 98, 99, 100. Okay. That's done. So let's take this helicopter. Just again, it's only at 69% and we're going to put it in this office and send it, get it to work. All right. Now, this, of course, can only haul very limited supplies. So it really has nothing to do right now. And so I need to get this done before I can uh, give them more work. And so they're they're working on this path and also this heliport so that we can access bricks with the helicopters. Uh, gravel is done now, too. That wasn't the thing that was possible before. So we're going to come over here and we're going to also say, hey, guess what? Gravel is located here. And then uh, bricks is going to be located right here. And I can't quite do that yet. Very, very close. I also have to wonder what happens to helicopters if they break down. You know, they're not going to break down in midair, right? So, like, I'm noticing a lot of these helicopters, they don't ever really land. Right? I mean, they land when they're loading things up. So maybe that's... Because they, they don't load when they're dropping things off. So I'm thinking that's probably when they break down. It's probably when they... 
are just like you know drop down at a landing pad like this right here right there's three landing zones here for gravel and all three of them are just dropping down and uh trying to load up the gravel right so i'm thinking at this point is probably when it would if it's gonna break down this is probably when it would be right it's like right here uh, i want more helicopters <laughs> i've decided i want more uh so let's just take a quick look and look at uh it says two years old 207 is a little bit of a discount i i, I think i'll go ahead and pay it for now uh i want white color right here now the one thing we have to keep in mind or we have to pay attention to is of course our budget because we are spending a lot of money on these helicopters uh but i have room for one more so i'm kind of thinking yeah that's what i want to do and then the rest of these parking spots could be other vehicles and everything but keep in mind this is not the only place we're having helicopters uh and in fact if i can fit one in and it looks like i might be able to i can get uh some some more helipads in here I might be able to get like one more helipad yeah like right here that seems like a good spot uh and i can maybe get another one and no so i can get one more here and that allows me to have uh one five six helicopters at this little place which i think six is a good number for this uh i could technically i think i could eh, there's not enough room for that okay so we can go with about like this i want to put this as close as it'll let me do it so right about here should be all right does that overlap yeah it kind of overlaps i don't want the overlap make sure we don't you know destroy the whole damn office when we do this so uh let's go in and say uh now you have to do that if you're gonna select the, the pads i don't know i don't exactly know how to do it there, i've seen people do it before though so there's probably a way to do it to where you can delete this and not the whole office but it doesn't do that like by default that's not the default behavior so you gotta kind of pay attention and watch out for that um, I think maybe if I if I go about here, this I think this is probably lined up well. You know what? That's good enough for me. And then we'll just do a little dirt path like that to connect it. So that'll give me one extra pad uh, for this area, and I can get an extra helicopter for this, which is fine. But remember, it's not like the stream series where we have a whole, them all in one spot, right? I'm gonna spread these guys out, so there'll be another one. You know maybe over here or something as long as we can get fuel there easily right that's the problem is like fuel is the limitation in there so uh, i might do uh well, yeah fuel is is a problem i mean once i get uh, like cities and stuff over here we could have another helicopter construction office over here and uh there'll probably be another one in this area maybe right about here we'll have fuel delivery coming over here so it'll you know we'll just provide fuel that way uh but it won't be directly piped in like this is now the track builders are going to get confused because there's certain signals and stuff they just can't get past so we'll let them do that and it looks like they're pretty much done with this now which is great news great news for everyone i think here uh which, which one are you looking at oh okay you're gonna build this you damn near done, dear, done with it so that's good uh, so now it's just a matter of building the warehouse and that will complete the track which is good so that's not a big deal we can go ahead and probably finalize these signals now so Going through i could say that you you pass by that way you are a chain that goes in that direction and you're gonna go all the way over here yep so you will chain that way and that way and then you come back that way and that way all right there you go and then you are on your way back to the station i'll just teleport you but all this is set up now yeah we can go back to having this be a regular chain in that direction have you be that direction this needs to be a two-way because it's the only way into this and then we just go back to having yep everything the way it was before we started doing this so that gets changed there nope that, actually these are going to stay mixed because they go to two, two different locations hmm no they don't no they don't because once this is done then they'll pass through here and then all the trains end up passing through this and they'll it'll merge into this so this intersection isn't done yet by the way there's a lot of tracks that go through this i assure you the system works it's i've tested it, it i know it works but it's, it's a little bit different than i tested because i've added this little extra bit here but it's fine and then i also need to get into making this tunnel and uh they can access it technically right now uh no no because i made this yeah this isn't a two-way track anymore so they can't come in from this side and then start working on it anymore uh, so if i want them to do that and i and i do uh we'll have to make yet another branch off <laughs> this may this may actually end up being chaos we'll see uh <laughs> this is a little chaotic but fine we'll go ahead and do that and then uh 
this this tunnel only passes in one direction they only go that way right so uh yeah and then uh this track right here right is uh continues on in this in this direction kind of like that and then this tunnel meets up with it like that and so then it ends up being on two different tracks as it goes that way uh yep so we'll just finalize that plan uh so as they build this tunnel out that'll get the tunnel boring machine to go to work we haven't had a chance to use that yet so a little bit excited just admitting uh, a little bit excited about using the track builders uh to build a tunnel and then uh there's also going to be another tunnel built i think somewhere over here uh i may end up actually using this track and then putting that tunnel through here instead but this is a really big tunnel to where this is a lot less to pass through so it, it doesn't look like it but this right here from here to here would be the one and then it would go around the mountain from there uh, which isn't actually that big of a deal it just kind of comes in a straight line around the mountain uh instead of having this come through which i don't think i would want to even come through it doesn't save me very much and cost me a lot what i'd rather have is just have the track branch over and then just come around to make a loop if i was going to do the loop that's how i'd have to do it and it would be a cargo loop not a passenger loop so the passenger train ends up terminating here which it already did yep oh they already built that that's sweet uh we do need a turnaround here though and i'm thinking i probably didn't need to build two completely separate tracks that way that's that's a little bit like that's kind of my bad on that um i didn't need to build two tracks like this it's just sort of a habit to make two tracks but if this is only if this is going to terminate here then we really didn't need that um i suppose i could get around that by actually having this loop and go that way if there's going to be a town over here that would be a really good thing actually so i need to find a way to get that track to come over there which is basically a really sharp turn in order to do that and well, maybe not i could go this direction i suppose go around this way still a pretty sharp turn but it's not it's not a crazy turn right and then it ends up going out that direction and then go around the mountain that's not bad yeah that's not bad that works for me actually I'm, I'm good with that we certainly don't need it built yet though so it, it'll just it'll just stick around here basically we'll mark the plans and then we'll just kind of turn it off but at least this way we can get you know a better passenger system through here in the sense that we have a loop so um you know if we have a town over here which i probably will have some kind of town over here there's gravel over here i'm sure there's other resources here we might be able to get let's see are there any other resources over here uh i'm looking at not this so i'm looking at this area right here is what i'm looking at right now so i don't see much of anything so i guess coal is here we could have another source of coal i suppose but really i think it just becomes more farmland yeah so i don't know if there's really a need for a town over here since it's mostly just farmland yeah i don't know it's a, something i haven't really thought much about to be honest but if i can get a track to come around this mountain instead of through it so the train would basically come out about like this i guess it would be uh from about this point we're about right about where these signals are we would just have like an intersection that comes out about like this and it would kind of do one of these numbers i guess it doesn't need to it really doesn't need to go both directions but i'm gonna do it anyway <laughs> just to make the the trains don't do that crowd <laughs> just to just to get on their nerves i'm gonna do it <laughs> and then i'm gonna go uh over it like this uh good good a nice little curve around the mountain like this there we go yeah we'll just have it curve around like that right around the mountain and we can use this for cargo too this isn't a wasted track because the cargo needs to come and loop here too so uh this these trains that come through here right the, these would all go uh this way as well and then they would wrap around and connect to this track as well so uh that's that's ultimately i think what we're going to do and I, i'll probably remake this part so that it curves into a nice intersection there too yeah yeah we'll do that too so we'll say maybe it comes out about like say like this all right come on now uh we'll have this track come over come over like uh like this okay yeah and then it's a little sharp isn't it 
<laughs> I want to. I won't trigger you that much. No, just the right amount of trigger. Okay. Have this come straight out. I'll start with the one that's closest because this is going to be my limiting factor. Right about there. It's fine. Okay. And then we'll have you go like that and then curve gently and then like that. And then you would come over and meet up with this track probably sooner than this, I would think, because you're already stopped at this point. So you would probably want to meet up with it like right here. Something like that would be okay. Yeah. So this track now comes all the way around and it loops and it continues around the mountain when it comes so right through here. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, like that. And then you come over around like that and it saves us from having to build a tunnel, which is, I mean, I admit I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit sad about that, but it is going to save us a ton of resources resources are not infinite despite how much we want to believe they are they're not we are limited by the time it takes to collect them the personnel that could be collecting other things instead of them right all that uh and we'll go through this and there we go okay so that pretty much connects this whole thing which all counts as a single intersection because it's all you know nothing signals yet but there you go. That's what this track is going to look like in the future. And then from this point here, we just bring it over like that. And then it will merge this direction only. It doesn't need to go the other way. So it'll go about like that. Call it good. And then uh, we could signal it up. But again, why? I don't see a reason to let the let the intersection exist. Well, if you do that, then trains that are working in here will stop everyone from coming in. So you kind of can't do that so we'll do a mixed one here and a mixed one there just to kind of close that off uh we can do a mixed one uh temporarily we'll do a mixed one here and here close that off and then over here on this side we want to station serves as a as a divider so that's okay uh, and then over here we'll just go like that like that and then like that like that and then like that like that and then this little section here now counts as an intersection. So we'll go like that, like that. And then all of this needs to get uh, added again anyway. And we can do one way on this. We could. We're not going to. Nah, I don't think we're going to because of... Well, track builders need to go back the other direction. So yeah, we'll just have to teleport them. I'll deal with that offline though. You guys don't need to see that stuff. That's that... That's that boring stuff nobody wants to watch. <laughs> so there you go. It's all signaled up, ready to go. And now they just need to build it, right? So we have a track that goes all the way around the mountain instead of through it. I think that's okay. But then right here, I kind of want to go through it just so I have a tunnel on this side. Although I could just keep wrapping around. God, there's no point in a tunnel here, is there? Like you can, you can go. It's a little extra fuel, right? For, for trains and everything. I mean, that's, that's really the only thing is it's just extra fuel. Yeah, I don't know why you're confused. Oh, you're just... All right, go back home. I don't know what you're doing, but go back home. Uh, this is done, by the way. I know I gave you guys a cut and then totally didn't look at it. This is this is definitely done now. So they can uh, go ahead and get bricks. They're, they have access to bricks now, which is great. Uh, we don't need this to be a two-way. It doesn't matter, but I'm going to do it as a one-way anyway. Uh, and then same thing over here. I'll just do it as a one-way there. And then uh, this, is, this is gravel. That doesn't matter, yeah. Okay, so we have room for one more helicopter over here, don't we? Do we want to buy another one? Not a passenger one. Passengers will be taken care of by a different... I'm going to bring this all the way down as far as far as you can. Yeah, just repair the whole thing as far as you can, please. And then Cernikova, the thing I said I was going to focus on today. <laughs> Ended up not focusing on it much at all. Uh, let's get some materials delivered over here so that it's in stock. We're going to just take this uh, distribution office really quick. I'm going to add the store as a source. Not the storages, just the store. And uh, we'll just have stuff delivered there right now. So let's keep it like 60% full. And then we can get, I think the distribution office for meat is, is this one here. There's a refrigeration truck in there already. We'll have the distribution truck for meat 
go ahead and deliver directly to this meat storage. Yeah, there you go. Keep that 60% full, let's say. Forklifts, we're going to need that too. Uh, and then this is a warehouse that doesn't have any power at the moment. So we're going to have to do something about that. But you basically are just going to store food, clothes, electronics, and that is it. Yeah. So we'll go, let's say, say yeah, about this is a good mix. I like that mix. We'll have you store that. And then you're going to need, we're going to need some forklifts in here too. So we'll just buy a couple of forklifts. Uh, they'll travel ever so, ever so slowly to this destination. And then our fuel rats are going to need to give them fuel as well. So come on over here, fuel rats and connect fuel to that station. All right. Now I also made a gas station over here. We've been working on roads. It's, it's a slow process, but I've been working on roads over here. Uh, so, you know, gravel and everything, it comes all the way out here. This road's not even not even all the way over probably should just do it all the way over uh yeah like this i guess it's a little sloppy isn't it just a little but whatever uh there's a gas station here and it, it doesn't have any power right at the moment so what i've got is this tiny little wind turbine or wind power plant right this tiny little one here is, is situated far away from it so that it could potentially cover other things uh, but it really is just going to provide power to the gas station. I don't really want to have uh, a lot of power lines running all over there. Uh, and eventually, once we have our little town here, then that will be fine. But and then that this will just serve as like a near term supplement somewhere. Um, and then I can get, you know, power lines drawn from the border here. Sure, I could do that. And I probably will initially do that. But in the interim, so I don't have to build the, the lines and the, pow the, the power uh, transformers and the switches and all that stuff. Uh, little tiny thing here is going to take care of fuel in that spot. And then all my farm vehicles and stuff, as they're moving around, they'll be able to go there. Uh, it's, it's the same thing with this over here. I can put a little turbine here too. Uh, I can I can do that kind of throughout to get uh, fuel to these places. Uh, and then, you know, obviously we'll have a proper power set up here eventually because uranium is here. But yeah. So what I really like to see now is for this fuel tank to fill up. And to, to do that, we have to bring in more oil. There's no other way around it. We're bottlenecked by the oil supply at the moment. What are you waiting for? It's the track builders, aren't you? You're going back to the... Yeah, you're going back home. Get out of there. Not sure why he was waiting. Why was that track builder sitting there doing nothing? Why, why were you there doing nothing? There's nothing in your way same reason why you are now hang on a minute hold on just a minute here now let's observe the rules of the chain signal for a second chain signal is red this means that their uh passage is blocked so going this way all right you can totally get there all right you can totally get there so what's the problem Probably because it's a two-way. That the two-way is probably stopping that from happening. Yeah. Again, we ignore this. This is not going to exist later. Okay. So you're like, oh, you have two intersections really close together. Again, it's not going to matter. This is going away later, uh, and this these two signals and uh, are also going to go away. Like this signal won't exist later either. So, uh, in fact, I probably could get rid of it now, but that just creates this whole thing as an intersection, and I kind of wanted to avoid that. So. Eh, maybe not. Maybe we'll just put a, sim a simple signal here instead of a chain. That way you'll at least progress to this point. That's fine. Uh, and then you will go clear there, get there. And then we have this crossing here that allows the train to stop here and then go that direction. So all things are good. You're supposed to be a chain. Not that it matters. There's only one train right now. But eventually, yes, you're supposed to be a chain. Uh, then you're going to go one direction. You're going to go one direction. And then we don't need a chain. We actually don't need a signal here because it's wrapping around and then it splits and does its own thing from there. So we don't need a train to ever stop. You just keep right on going. You don't, you don't stop by the road. Yeah. And then I guess that could be a chain too, because there's crossings and stuff there, but only to this point. And then you get to keep going. 
Okay, so Medical University is still uh, having some progress done on. We almost got this house done. So we're, we got almost all the housing kind of built over here. Uh, the logistics uh, to deliver this resource is not quite there yet. So we're going to need to get some trucks over here. A little distribution office will do wonders in this area. So we'll probably build that soon. Uh, and then they'll reference this warehouse in order to get their supply. Now, I think probably get a road to come straight across here like this. And that'll probably be how we access this little thing here. So I think maybe we'll go with just a gravel road here for now. Real easy thing to build. We'll upgrade that to gravel as well. So just get these little gravel roads going and I'll make sure that the uh, road crews are ready to go for that. Um, once this is completed, then again, the distribution office will reference this to pull things out. So we'll need a distribution office uh, in order to do that. So let's go ahead and grab a small distribution office. I think will be adequate for this area, but there's uh, there might be more to do, especially when it comes to like the meat and everything. We might need a bigger one. Uh, if we need a bigger one, I guess I'll just build two smaller ones because I don't I don't think a big one is going to be necessary here. Now, I don't want to build too close to the track because I'm actually I want to expand this to have even more tracks. Um, so if it'll fit here, yeah, we'll do it like on this side of the road here. So I'll say there's a distribution office. Uh, if you're going to use this whole space, you might as well just do a big one and turn it. Yeah. All right. We'll just do a big one. It's not a big deal. Uh, we'll bring it over right about, let's say here like that a big one there and then uh we'll have you we might as well pave this road just to make it a little bit easier oh also all of this is pretty much done now uh we don't have the roundabout and completed yet so like we still have to do that a little bit and oh i i wanted to bring this up too i learned this like several videos ago i just haven't been able to do it this is something i didn't know existed and if I had known, I would have done this a lot more often than the roundabouts. Because I think I have too many roundabouts. Um, I did not know you could do this. So see this intersection here? Now, it's working beautifully the way it is. So I'm going to leave it right now. But what you can do here is you can actually make these two intersections into a single intersection. Which I wasn't aware you could do that. So if I click this, you see I'm managing these four directions. But I don't have any impacts here. But you can click this little plus button and then add this. And now the whole thing is managed by a single, like, sort of crossroad node. I had no idea you could do that. So that's really, really cool. Uh, somebody brought that up to me in a comment, and I was like, what? Like, mind boggled, right? So um, there's opportunities to maybe make a little more efficient, uh, as far as space goes, a little more efficient intersections with traffic lights and things. We might be able to do that um, just to save space. Because roundabouts do take... You know, you can see it. They do take some space. But I do tend to use that space intelligently, at least somewhat, right? I put monuments and stuff in the center of them, uh, at least ones that have far reaching. Like this one here is 400 plus meters. So, uh, you know, it, it can reach all of these buildings. That's affecting all of these buildings. Like even the technical university is impacted by this monument. You know, somebody said that you should have more diversity in your monuments. No, not really. <laughs> like you don't need to. Um, this red star is absolutely the best monument in the game. And uh, you should just use this liberally because like it's 5.2% and it has such a huge range that you just build a whole bunch of these and you're good to go. Uh, that said though, I am using pretty much every type of monument in this that's available. Like I've got almost every single type of monument here. Uh, I have not built the Kiev Independence Monument because there's no benefit in doing so. Someone's like, you should build this one. Okay, yeah, for looks, but it's 31 tons of steel and it gives me nothing. Look at it. There's no loyalty benefits to this at all. Better to build this one, which is what I've built three times already in this Republic. Uh, going on four times, I think. There's another one queued up uh, over by in Cernakova. Um, I built a couple of these already. There's 400 meter radius for 2%. So over here, I know there's one over here. Uh, this little tiny terrace, whatever monument, that's what this is. And it affects buildings in a pretty wide area too from the road, right? So uh, that's that's pretty good. It's a low footprint, doesn't take a lot of stuff. But building this other monument, I don't know if they just overlooked it or if that's intentional. I mean, technically, so this is the U Ukraine independence kind of thing. I, I don't know why that wouldn't give any loyalty to our Soviet Republic, but probably because it's sort of like a like we're breaking away kind of thing. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, that's what this is. And yeah, you could totally build it and it looks really cool, but there's no actual benefit to it other than looking cool. And that's why I haven't built it yet. Uh, all right. What are you stopping? Why are, why are they stopping here? I gotta know. Gotta know. Why, why are you stopping here? There's gotta be some reason. 
for you to stop here. I just don't know what it is yet. There's no reason for... Oh, you know what? It's this. This purple area. This con is considered a single intersection. Yes. That's why. They're building this tunnel, and this dude's sitting inside the purple area. That's why. Okay, so I just need to do this. And that won't happen anymore. Okay. Uh, it's the track builders. <laughs> it's always the track builders, man. Uh, now, I'm noticing that you are laying the brick, okay? But now, when the tunnel starts to get bored, this machine will no longer be doing it, right? This machine will go back home. It'll focus on other jobs. And the tunnel boring machine will come in and do this instead, which will be really cool to see. And we'll kick ourselves out this way. And then we can start getting on this track, which allows us to build up to here and then start building back this direction uh, towards the fuel loading and unloading, which I don't know if we really need two tracks here either. Uh, maybe just a simple bypass track would work better in this particular situation, just for the sake of, uh, you know, saving resources. But I think over time, we'll probably have, you know, trains coming back this way and then passing through. And I don't know, man. I don't know. It's uh, it's 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 a thing. I mean, it's not that much more resource, I guess. It's another 13. Yeah, to make an, an extra track here, we're talking like 22 tons of steel. I, I, I'm all right with that. For the sake of flexibility later, I'm all right with that. What I want to really know is why are there so many vehicles just sitting here doing nothing? There's so many jobs to do, guys. Auto search? You guys got nothing? Really? Is this the road? I got the road selected, right? Yeah, road crew. You got nothing to do? Really? I mean, did you finish all these roads? You got this road. What about these? Go do these roads. I, they're, they're too far out of the auto search range is what it is. If they can't auto search out this far, that's why. Uh, so we'll just click them and make them make them do it, right? Uh, yeah, they got all these roads done, though. That's that's nice. And then uh, I want to get the other the other office to start doing stuff, too. But let's just do road office here and then give me this office, too. Let's, let's pick some jobs for you guys to do here. Um, oh, come on over here. All right. I, we should have road access over here, right? Do we have road access over here yet? If we don't, that's road crew's job, right? So let's get uh, maybe uh, just a dirt road for now. And we can connect these two up. Like that. And we'll bring you out like this. And just hook you up. Yeah, right alongside this track. And then we'll just hook you up to, like, say, like this. That's all right with me. And now this is all hooked up now. So we should be able to see. Yeah, you can access this stuff now. Beautiful. So that's what I want you guys to focus on. Let's start building the iron mine. Uh, let's start building one iron processing, one of the storages, one of these, one of these, one of these. You know, start building these things, okay? Uh, you can't get there, but we'll, we'll work on that too. This road just needs to come around and, you know hook up there there you go and then you just keep building stuff right there you go uh put you to work steel obviously you need all this stuff done all right we got to get people over here eventually uh that needs to be done as a higher priority so we can get people moving here later and then uh for the road office i don't think there's much for you to do but um yeah like i guess we could build like these things we're gonna need them built so i guess yeah and then uh, yeah, the, the road over here is going to be wrapping around. So we can, we can have you focus on maybe those things. And then if there's any other factory connections like right there. That could that could be done. And then we probably want to have better roads out this way anyway. Uh, but I don't know where my other buildings are going to be. Speaking of that, uh, maybe, maybe we'll make, an, make another video out of that later. I think that's what we'll probably do. We'll make that a separate video later. Where we're going to focus on... Uh, you are trying to you're trying to build a track right no you're just completely stuck all right that's fine um maybe next video even we'll design the you know mechanical components electrical components all that stuff and how that's gonna work but like there's no point in designing it until you actually can work it or at least getting closer to where you can work it right so yeah we now have a 21 plus without flat we finally have people without flats which means we should be i think unless they're just not moving in uh, we should be completely maxed out. Yep. Uh, no. What? Oh, they're not allowed to move here. Ha! Come on in! <laughs> That's been like that the entire time, isn't it? I bet I had a comment like a long time ago telling me that. Same thing with this, yeah. I bet you I had comments before telling me that I had this un unchecked. 
and I just haven't noticed it. Well, there you go. I noticed it now. And now people can start moving into this building. See, I have more capacity than I thought I had. Uh huh. Uh, but that that is a good indicator, though. That's a good indicator that we are getting close to the maximum population for this area uh, until we can start expanding this way. So we can do that. But I want to get Cernakova going before we do that, so the people can move over into Cernakova and they can start happening. Reason for that is because we can get the medical university, and then the medical university has really good research that's going to help us boom our population even faster. Population is a very important thing to, to keep going on because that's your workers, right? Everything is about workers. So, uh, yeah. We need to get water for this area. Power needs to be routed to this area. I'm thinking probably for this, we go with a switch. I'm thinking a medium voltage switch would probably be situated maybe somewhere over near the university. Kind of want it to be like back here out of the way though. Maybe put it like back here, kind of like this, just way out of the way. You can bring, uh, let's have uh, this dirt road. And we need fire coverage for this. So fire coverage comes around. Yeah, I mean, they can still reach it from this road. So I guess we'll just do it off of this road. I don't think my rail was going to go. Uh, that might actually be right where my rail is going to go. Yeah, that's really yeah, that's pretty that's pretty much right where my rail is going. I haven't talked to you guys about where the rail's going yet. Um that's in a future video. Uh but I think that's right in the way of where my rail is gonna be. So I'm gonna say Uh well here's what we can do. I can just make sure that the rail has room by just going like this. That will guarantee that I have the room for the rail. And then I can just put in the switch that I want to put in right here. Like that should be all right and then uh we go with the road hi road let's get rid of that and then we make it here instead there we go uh so this switch is going to serve to push power to this thing so we're going to have this is 1.2 we don't really need a lot of power here just enough to keep the, the pumps going so we'll have this and then this will go across like that uh, and then I want another one that's like 1.5 or so. It's going to come into a uh, another substation that's... Technically, it's here. So I would go across like this. Let's do a 1.5. And you know what? I'm just going to go underground here, actually. We'll go a 1.45. If I'm going to do 1.5 anyway, I might as well just go underground with it. We'll go like that with it. And then this needs to be the 2.35. It comes all the way back like this. And I need to make sure that it's not going to be in the way of my trains. So real quick, go ahead and go like that. Like that. There we go. And that, sh that should pretty much take care of where my pathing is for this. So then it would end up going like that. Yeah, which I don't believe is a big deal. Yeah, I'll just do it. I'll just mark it now. Wrong direction, though. There we go. Back this up a little bit. And then you go. Like that. And like that. And then also like that. And like that. All right. Now I can guarantee that the rail won't be in the way when I make these power lines. Well, guarantee's a strong word. Uh, maybe I round this off just a little bit more. There we go. All right. That'll mark where my train tracks are going to be. Let's get the two, three, five power lines come this way. And then you need to go across this area, which I think will just put you like this. That's good. That, yep, that gives me one less pull to deal with. Then I want to put it at an angle so that I have one less pull to deal with on this side too. There we go. Like so. And then you will go like so. And then... Yeah, not going to be able to... Not going to be able to cheat that one. Okay. Fine. So 
there we go that's gonna give me the switches that's gonna provide power to this and that's the two pumps and then also into here which is gonna serve as power to the university and anything else that's in this area of course we still have this this needs maximum because it's right in the center of town and I want I want to make sure it's not overloaded by connections and such so we'll have this one have its own dedicated line uh I guess like that will be okay it's gonna kind of go back and forth I don't really want it to do that though can I get it to or maybe we'll we'll do it like this have it start here yes yeah, it's, it's that it's that trash area put it on this side then it's about like that and then there and then here can you, can you do that yes perfect that's what I want and then from this side we go straight uh straight this way and connect up there and then this one here we don't need as much power so we'll do like a one five there is some stuff here but I don't think we need quite as much power on this one so we'll just do a, a little one like that and actually to get more connections why don't we do a switch instead here uh we can take a five by switch this is probably a cool idea we'll take a five by switch like this this will expand our capabilities a bit uh and then we'll do a two three five to that switch let's maybe match these up could look clean that way Eh. probably didn't need to do that because like it's not like I've spaced them out any special way, but it does kind of clean them up a little bit. Comes all the way over like so. And then what I'll do is I'll deviate here to bring it into that spot. So that's the supply line. Ooh. Yeah, but then it goes, yeah, I don't think I want that to be the supply line. Bring it back to here instead, and then we'll we'll have that be the supply line instead all right mark that in that's good uh and then we'll just have the short like one five or something go we need two supply lines to this so um yeah is it really giving me more connections then if I have to have two supply lines <laughs> probably not yeah I probably should have just done a high voltage thing here and then we also have this other one, don't we? We have this uh, uh, this one here. Yeah, you know, we got two separates. I don't know if this is necessary. I think I'm overcomplicating this. Tell you what, I'll do all the electricity wiring and stuff like off camera, because this is going to take a while. Uh, we'll just do this off camera. And when we come back for the next one, I think we might be ready to go on bringing people into Cernakova. Possibly. Uh, all these houses are, I've been told people that are not allowed to move in, but if we start allowing them to move in, maybe we get like two or 300 people that don't have it, their own flat, that kind of thing. We could tell them they can move over here. That should provide enough workers to get the essentials going. We can then use some of our rubles to invite new people as well. That's always a thing. Uh, we'll bring more people in and uh, we'll keep, uh, we'll keep on keeping on. Okay. So thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Didn't really focus on Cernakova nearly as much as I thought I would today, but you know, it's, it's their plans are in place. I just need people to build it, right? So take care. Hopefully, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.